some of these carriers say, um, we only want five companies to pay for the traffic. But what does that mean? Um, one, that's not true. <laughs> that the, some of these companies are actually asking um, dozens or hundreds of other small carriers to pay already. They, they've done that for 20 years. They started it basically in the 2000s. Um, and they're not going to abolish that. There's no talk about only having the large players pay and abolish um, access fees for smaller carriers. So they need to get their game straight. Do they actually want to have only a handful of players pay for, for, uh, for peering, for access to their network? Or do they want to have this as a general idea? Because that won't fly. That won't fly versus net neutrality. Um, and that uh, is very difficult to position um, uh, looking at the market right now because they only charge that also to some place always in a national market. Um, also, the price level in these national markets is very dissimilar from what, what is being paid for in transit as an internet exchange point. We have a very clear view of the fact what, um, how much is transit worth? What is being asked for right now, what is being asked for is fair, is way above that, uh, that level what is being paid for transit today. Um, how can that be? Uh, an, a national access, a national peering should be way below if you look really look at the cost should be way below and the and the, the commission's consultation doesn't reflect that bit they're asking for um, network cost but they're not asking for actual transit cost